Hey there, hustling business builder. Today is Free Ride Friday, so make sure you hang on to the end of the episode to hear who won this week's free ride to the $100 MBA training and community. Every Friday, we give away a lifetime membership to the $100 MBA. It's our weekly random draw that we do with everybody who's left us an iTunes rating and review. So if you want to win a free ride, just leave us an iTunes rating and review and you can win a lifetime membership to the $100 MBA. If you're on your iPhone, just click on the cover of this episode. You'll see a link that says, give us a rating and a review. Click on that link. The rest is a piece of cake. If you're on a browser, if you're on any other phone, just go to 100mba.net slash show, and you can see all the instructions right there to leave us an iTunes rating and review. All right, guys, let's jump into today's episode. It's not just about the hustle, but it's about doing the right things in your business with our daily 10-minute business lessons for the real world. I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co-founder of The $100 MBA, a complete business training and community online. And today's episode is an important topic, an important question. Can you dream too big in business? Is there a danger in dreaming too big and having too big of a goal? How do you know you are dreaming too big? And if so, is that a problem? We get into all of these important questions in today's episode. I'm going to give you my straight up honest advice when it comes to this topic because it's very important. And I think you're going to be quite surprised with some of the things I have to say today. But trust me, it's all from the heart and it's going to save you a whole lot of time and money. So let's get into it, guys. Let's get down to business. This episode of the $100 MBA show is sponsored by Webinar Ninja. Learn the five steps to more sales with webinars with our free live workshop every Tuesday. Just go to webinarninja.co slash workshop. In our complete workshop, we break down exactly how to create a webinar, give you a full breakdown of the tech you need with webinars, as well as how to sell and convert on a webinar without feeling icky and feeling salesy. I guarantee you'll leave the webinar well-equipped to start your first webinar and make more sales. Just go to webinarninja.co slash workshop to sign up for our free live workshop this coming Tuesday. Can you dream too big in business? First, let's differentiate a dream from a goal. And there is a difference. You see, in business, dreams are for beginners. It's for people that don't take action. A dream is exactly what it sounds like, a dream, something unattainable. So can you dream too big? Of course you can, because dreams don't have boundaries, so to speak, because dreams are not real. A goal, on the other hand, is something else. And you can have big goals. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, Nicole and I have goals for next year. We have goals for the next five years. We have goals for the next 20 years. And you better believe a goal that takes 20 years is going to be quite big. But the difference is we have some action steps that we will have to take in order to get to that goal. It's real. It's tangible. I know what it takes to get there. I've planned it out. I've given it thought. But a dream is more like a passing thought. And it could sound like, I want to be a millionaire. Or I want to do whatever I want whenever I want. Or I want to travel the world. All of these statements are dream statements because they're not specific. And to be quite honest, often when you say things like that, you're not really sure what they mean. You're not really sure if you really want that. What it really means is that you want to have control. What it really means when you say, I want to be a millionaire, it means you want to be financially independent. You don't want to worry about money. But does that mean you have to be a millionaire to not worry about money? A lot of people would be surprised if they sat down and took a look at their expenses, not only in their business, but their personal expenses. How much money is that? Then add on top, how much money would it mean if I got to travel three, four times a year? First class to say, for example. And you added that up and you had your favorite car and you had your favorite home and you added all that up, you might be surprised. When I did this exercise, it was a whole lot less than a million dollars. And now once you get specific, and in this example, a dollar amount, the game changes. Let's say, for example, that number is $350,000 a year. I've calculated my expenses. I've calculated living the life I wanted with all the things I wanted, the travel I wanted, having money for savings, having money for charity, all that stuff. I included all that stuff. And let's say, for example, that number is $350,000. Now you might think, oh, that's not that much. It is a lot of money. It's very hard to spend that kind of money. And let's put it in perspective, you're making more than the average brain surgeon. That's a professional basketball, the NBA minimum salary. So you're making money as much as a professional basketball player. But the point here is that you're getting laser focused. This is no longer a dream. It's a plan now. So yes, you can dream too big. 
And what I mean by that is when you say, I want to be a millionaire, that's too big. That's not what you want. What you actually want is $350,000 in this example. And you can apply this concept with anything in business. I want to have a big company. I want to be serving millions of people. Ask yourself, why? Why do you want to serve a million people? Would you be happy if you were serving 1,000 people or 5,000 people or 10,000 people or 100,000 people? That's a lot of people. You might think that effect, that feeling of being able to help a lot of people doesn't need to be a million. It could be 10,000 and you'll feel that way. Now, I'm not trying to water down anybody's dreams here. What I'm trying to do here is define what exactly you want. Because when you dream big like that, you never hit any targets because there are no targets. You haven't specified the target and you often feel disappointed. You don't feel like you're doing anything. You don't feel like you're accomplishing anything. So in this regard, yes, you can dream too big. And I really don't like this word dream because, again, it removes the reality of the situation, the reality of what you actually need or want, the reality of what's actually going to make you happy. So anytime you think of a dream or something you want to do, ask yourself, what exactly do I want? Why do I want to feel this way? And how can I get there? What are some steps that I need to get to there? So if that example is the $350,000 a year goal, how much is my product? How many sales do I need from that product in order to get to that goal? Can I offer new products at a different price point? How many sales do I need from that? And break it down. How many sales do I need each month? How many sales do I need each week? And even how many sales do I need each day on average? Make it into an equation. Make it into reality. And you'll find that you're moving towards that goal instead of just keeping it as a dream. Guys, we got more on today's episode. But before that, I got to give love to today's sponsor, Biz Filings. Biz Filings is where you go to incorporate with step-by-step -step guidance from on-demand experts. If you want the job done right, you got to go to the experts. And when it comes to incorporation, that means Biz Filings. With more than a million incorporations under their belt, the people at Biz Filings know all the ins and outs of setting up a business for success. They'll break down the process for you, outline the fees and the forms, and work closely with the state so you know exactly what to expect every step of the way. Actually, Biz Filings was founded by entrepreneurs who set out to build the kind of experience they'd want if they had to do it all over again. A straightforward site loaded with tools to help you understand your options and make the right call. With the resources at Biz Filings, there's no need to put off incorporation any longer. Get started today with a free guide at bizfilings.com slash start. That's bizfilings.com slash start. Guys, I hope you could see through today's episode how dreaming too big can be counterproductive. Or maybe I should say dreaming without putting down solid goals and milestones and steps. This is what makes it real. This is what makes it serious, that you're serious about this. This is not just something that you would want and you're not willing to work for. No matter how big that goal is, there's plenty of people out there in the world that can look at your life right now and say that's their dream, to live your life. So you can attain your dream. You can attain a dream or a goal as long as you have the steps and the milestones and the deadlines for it. I hope that resonates with you guys and I hope you enjoyed today's episode. But today's episode is not over because we got to give away a free ride to the $100 MBA training and community. Every Friday we give away a lifetime membership. So let's see who won this week's free ride. And the winner is Chef Jackson 85. Chef Jackson 85 says, great podcast with excellent business tips, five stars. I'm a chef and a small business owner who looks forward to Omar's fantastic lessons on business and life too. He speaks from experience and I always get some great tip that I can use to further my business from each easy to digest episode. I've been running my business for five plus years and the lessons he shares are timeless. I'm hungry for more, Eric. Thanks, Eric, Chef Jackson 85. And congratulations, you are now a lifetime member of the $100 MBA training and community. All you got to do is email us at contact at 100mba.net so we can hook you up with the free ride. Guys, if you want to win a free ride, a lifetime membership to over 180 video lessons, interviews with experts, workbooks, or community forum, a whole lot more, all you got to do is leave us an iTunes rating and review, and you enter our weekly random draw. Every Friday, we call it Free Ride Friday. Let us know what you think of the show. Let us know your favorite episode. We'd love to hear from you. We read every single review. All right, guys, I want to leave you with this. Part of being authentic as an entrepreneur is being honest even when it's difficult. Today is one of those examples. It's not popular to say don't dream or don't dream too big. I'm a real kind of guy and I have to stay true to my word. I really believe that you know doing this dreaming 
is going to crush you. You need to have goals so you can work towards those goals and achieve those goals. Feel better about yourself and feel like you're making progress. You don't want to grow old and say, I had all these dreams that I never pursued. And the reason why people don't pursue them is because they're not real. They didn't have a plan in place. They didn't have the steps towards achieving those goals. I hope you guys can appreciate my honesty and know it's all out of love, out of my heart to see you guys win. All right, guys, I hope to see you in tomorrow's episode, Q&A Weekends, where we answer your questions. I'll see you then. Take care.